Series 7 of One the Buses was filmed between late February and late April 1973. By this time they've moved to their new custom built South Bank Studios. So all the locations you'll find are all South London based. And there is the what was the South Bank Television Centre. Soon to be converted into flats unfortunately. Episode 1 they were headed down to Camberwell. This is a natural road. This was the library in Camberwell but it's now our children's nursery it's used as. And for other um, small events. This is outside that same building. Clues here are the iron fence here on your left hand side in the park in the distance. We now head to Peckham. So this is Carden Road. If you note the garden, the wall there that they're walking past and the tree on the pavement. There's a clue here. There's a tree on the pavement still there. The houses running along the main road all exactly the same. The bridge, the um, wall there has been rebuilt. Carden Road again. Yeah, number 18. You can see it's not changed at all. Still got the same door, I do believe. For the closing credits, we had a new closing credit sequence. And this was filmed on Sutton. Not where the garage was, is now a McDonald's. This is on Oldfield Road, Oldfields Road in Sutton. Building right on the left there was the formerly the pub joint mint. It's now been converted into a um, storage facility. And towards the end of the closing credits of Series 7, we headed down to Morden. Note the building there on the left hand side, the shop there was a Woolworths. Not anymore obviously, but the structurally it's still there with those tiled um, pillars. Back up to Sutton again. Note the bank there with the little um, staircase going up to the houses, still there today. And the houses in the background still unchanged. Now head back to South Bank near the studios, Belvedere Road. Note the concrete expanses in the background there. Now more of a grassy look, a more greener look with the more trees planted. Still in South Bank, this is our stone's throw from the actual studios. Stamford Street. That road leads down to the studios there uh, that you see the van pulling out of in the now shop. Still on Stamford Street, further east. Note the zebra crossing there in the background. Still there today, as you can see. South Bank again, further south, uh, opposite Waterloo Station. You can see the church in the background there. That's St John's Church. The pillars are given away to this location on Waterloo Road. Now heading further south, uh, this is Kennington, note the pub behind on to the right hand side of Jack uh, here. Still there today, new owners obviously and a new name for the pub. Not far away, just further southwest is Prince's area. This was filmed in Kentford Road. Note the stripe built, the building there with the stripes along the sides of it there and the tennis court area. They were the clues to find in this location. Further up um, Kemsford Road it pulls into the terminus area, which is Dryden Court. This area has been the road has been pedestrianised now, so it's got a much greener look to it. If you note the backdrop behind Olive here, the houses are still the all the buildings are still exactly the same, but there you can see the road's been totally pedestrianised, so a bus wouldn't be able to park up there today. And the buildings again behind Olive are totally unchanged. A bit more greenery and more trees have been planted since. We head back down to uh, uh, Sutton again. So this is like the pub you see in the background, it's called The Rose. It's not there anymore, it's now a uh, superstore that stands there now. Uh, when I took this photograph it was a co-op, I do believe it's now a little Head back into the Prince's area again, note the uh, houses in the background with those distinctive little garages. This is Renfrew Road in Prince's. 
which you do see in a later episode as well. So we head to Prince's again for uh, this episode, the poster. Note the flats in the background right in the top left-hand corner look like they were just being built there. You can see they're still there today. The houses all to the left of all, where, um, to the right of all of them, mom have all totally been demolished and rebuilt. Uh, here you can see Renfrew Road again with those distinctive garages. The gardens were never there, they were just put there for the scene as were the bushes and to hide, try and hide the garages. For the football match, we headed down to East Dulwich. So this was uh, the Sainsbury Superstores um, football team used to play here for the staff. And uh, you can see that's where the changing rooms used to be. But now on this land here, they built. Uh, they have now now built a Sainsbury Superstore. So where the football pitch is, it's now a car park, part of a Sainsbury Superstore car park. The giveaway here of the flats in the background are still the same. And again here, you can see the um, flats in the background that run along the side of Dog Kennel Hill are still there to this day. But of course, where the football pitch was, there's now a car park. On the omnibuses, um, this scene here with a uh, sort of wire duct, the tunnel there in the background, uh, that has been filled in today. This is like on Barge House Street. And South Bank, so it's only about 200 yards um, east of the studios where the studios were. As you can see, this is the same building here. It's not changed at all. Obviously, it's been uh, renovated somewhat, tidied up a bit over the years. Again, this is that same building. The giveaway here is a black brickwork that runs along the foot of the building here. The same ornate um doorways and uh, brickwork as well here and this is the archway that we've seen in the previous uh, location still there today you can see the windows still the uh, brick top there was a big clue to find in this location now we had the forest away that they headed to film our four locations of on the buses down to near Hayward's Heath this is about 30 miles to the south of the studios Obviously, because the buildings are very ornate here, you can see the manager's house and the, gar the garden gate there. All very ornate, set well for the 1920s. No doubt why they decided to travel so far to film here. As you can see, the gate there has not changed at all. And here we see the bus passing an old pub and the public house is still there. This is a sloop then that's on um, Sloop Lane. And here in the, as we see the uh, further up Sloop Lane, further north, we can see the Bluebell Railway there, still there to this day. And the only change here when we see Blakey climbing onto the railway bridge is if you look on the opposite side of the railway track, there's a row of uh, hedges that run along the side of the track there now, but the bridge you can still see in the distance. The final episode Reg Varney did, note the double uh, gates there, wooden. This is down in Peckham, they filmed this on Banfield Road. Note it's now on metal uh, rot iron and um, double gates there. Uh, the depot that they used the bus coming out of was used by Banfield coaches at the time. So this is Banfield Road running on to Nunhead Lane in Peckham where they filmed this scene. Now we head back to Car uh, Carden Road again in Peckham where we see Jack and Blakey coming out to uh, sort the water mains. Houses still the same there. The giveaway, nice giveaway here is the, um, the brickwork, the di discoloured brickwork, all match as they did back in the day in 1973. Note the tree on the, on the pavement, still there to the day as well, which is good. Now we head down back into Peckham again for the locations here. This is Peckham Rye Park. Note the tree on the far left and the wrought iron uh, fence here. Still there to this day. The only addition is they've added a car park into the centre of the park. 
as they walk to the toilets here the only difference here is they have now since added metal fences here uh, obviously to protect the plants and such like uh, here do you see the olive coming with Jesse out of the toilets the toilet block is still there but it's no longer it's been converted into the park warden's uh, offices there so there's no toilets there now and here the wrought iron fence is still there in the background to this day on Stakers Road that runs through Peckham Rye Park. And now we head down to Morden. Note the roundabout there, the vast roundabout it has changed in appearance over the years. There it is today. The clue here is still a Morden Hall in the background and the um, pillars leading into the park. Heading back up to Peckham Rye Park again. The toilet block, it's still there to this day, as you can see on East Dulwich Road that runs through the park, but that has now been converted into a children's nursery. And when Blakey Chit cycles off after the bus, with the policemen following him, you can see the bus stop remains to this day on East Dulwich Road in Peckham Rye Park. Then we move on to the final ever episode of On the Buses Gardening Time. This was filmed up in Battersea, these scenes here, so they're on Lavender Hill. As you can see the houses in the background haven't changed at all, stayed exactly the same, which makes it easier to find. And that is the um, Battersea um, Media Centre as now, it was a Battersea Town Hall on Lavender Hill, the Arts Centre. They did have a fire there when I took this photograph, hence the scaffolding. Now we see Blakey coming out of a shop, a flower shop, and this was on Lavender Hill, again, it's now a wine bar, note the lime but coloured wall in the background, it's still there to this day as well. And he goes out to the, out the edge of the road, lays down his plants, note the houses across the road there and the flats still exactly the same. And he flags down the bus. Houses on the, the backdrop here are as, exactly as is. The only real addition today is they've added a big um, uh, road sign there that straddles across the pavement area. And then we head back to Carden Road again. Note the house at the top of the street there. Still there today, but it's shrouded by trees. But the uh, houses on the left-hand side of the road still remain unchanged. And again, further down Carden Road, you see the houses that Stan and, uh, I mean, Jack and uh, Blakey come out of. Still exactly the same as well. And that completed the filming of On the Buses.